got a great story for you today. It is These Darn Squirrels by Adam Rubin, illustrated by Daniel Salmieri. On the outskirts of town at the edge of the forest, there was a little old house. The only thing older than the little old house was the man who lived in it, Old Man Fookwire. Old Man Fookwire was so old that when he sneezed, dust came out. He was also a grump. He hated pie. He hated puppies. The only thing he liked was birds. All summer long, the old man painted pictures of the birds that visited his backyard. They were whirly birds and bonga birds, baba birds and yaba birds. Even a rare flugel bird came by once or twice. Fookwire's paintings weren't very good, but the birds never said anything. When the air turned crisp and the leaves began to change color, the old man grew sad. He knew that soon the birds would fly south for the winter, as they did every year, and he would be lonely. Then he had an idea. If he fed the birds, maybe they would stick around. So old man Fookwire built beautiful bird feeders and put them up all around his backyard. He filled the feeders with delicious seeds and berries, and soon birds came from all over the forest just to eat in the old man's yard. But the birds weren't the only ones who liked the bird feeders. The squirrels did too. Not many people know this, but squirrels are the cleverest of all the woodland creatures. In fact, they're fuzzy little geniuses. They can make a house out of almost anything. A bed out of a bunch of leaves, a box kite out of twigs, dirt and squirrel spit. They are also most excellent at math. The winter fast approaching and the squirrels needed to gather as much food as they could get ready, so they decided to take some of the bird food. The birds were not happy, and neither was old man Fookmeyer. When he discovered what had happened, he shook his old man fist and yelled, Those darn squirrels! He filled up the feeders again, but this time he hung them from a clothesline. Then he went back inside, confident that the squirrels would no longer be able to get the seeds and berries. Squirrels were determined. They devised a plan, and this time they took food from all the bird feeders. Look at they got on the tree and bent it over. Oh, silly squirrels. The birds were furious. Harumph! Harumph! yelled Bonga Bird. Those darn squirrels yelled Old Man Fookwire. Yum! said the squirrels. Look at their bellies. Their big bellies are sleeping. Now it was Old Man Fookwire's turn to devise a plan. He went to the general store to get supplies. He bought lasers and clamps and wires and springs. He bought all sorts of tools and built a veritable fortress around his bird feeders. Then he refilled them very carefully. Na, 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 snorted the flugel bird. The squirrels stayed up all night working out their strategy. They drank cherry cola and ate salt and vinegar chips and helped them stay awake. Finally, they had it, the perfect plan. They put on their tiny helmets and prepared to launch themselves into the air, over the fence, between the lasers, and onto the bird feeders. Is this gonna work? Oh my goodness. The first squirrel misfired and hit a tree. Black. The second squirrel went too high and landed in a bucket. The third squirrel sailed clear over the house. The birds laughed and laughed. They each one had one last delicious mouthful of seeds and berries from the old man's bird feeders. Then they flew south for the winter, just as they did every year. Viz, said the flugel bird. After the birds left, old man Fookwire was lonely, just as he was every year. He fixed himself some cottage cheese and pepper, his favorite snack. But he was still lonely when he looked out the window. The squirrels could tell that he wasn't happy. Go away, shouted the old man. I don't like you, squirrels. The squirrels had a meeting deep inside a large tree. They decided to give the old man a present to make up for taking the seeds and berries. Now, not many people know this, but squirrels are not only fuzzy little geniuses, but they also collect about anything they can find on the ground. These squirrels had a vast stockpile of spectacular junk to choose from. But what would Fookwire like? Bottle caps? Popsicle sticks? Postage stamps? 
Finally, they had it. The perfect gift. What do you think it's going to be? What could Mr. Fookwire have as a gift from the perfect little squirrels? The squirrels stacked all of their loose change on old man Fookwire's doorstep. There were dimes and pennies. There were nickels and quarters. There was even a few tokens from Coco's Arcade. It added up to $47.36, plus a few rounds of skee-ball. Maybe you squirrels aren't so bad, Fookwire said when he found the coins, but I still like birds better. They gave the squirrels another idea. They raided their junk collection again, and they got to work. But when old man Fookwire woke up the next morning, he was amazed to see that the birds had returned. But wait, those weren't birds. Those were squirrels in disguise. Great googly moogly, said old man Fookwire. This will make quite a painting. He ran outside and took down the lasers and wires and the spring-loaded trapeze. He turned all the bird feeders into squirrel feeders, and he painted till his brush ran out of bristles. The squirrels were so overjoyed they had a party in old man Fookwire's house. Those darn squirrels, said Fookwire, and he shook his old man fist and he smiled. We hope you have enjoyed Those Darn Squirrels by Adam Rubin. We'll see you next time for another great story, but until then, air hugs. Bye, friends.